I'm gonna show you some of my favorite Thanksgiving stuff that we like to do. Why do you think we have feathers and corn? Why do we have corn? We're gonna paint with both of them. So Halloween is done, and now we're moving on to the next holiday, Thanksgiving. And I just love the holiday season. I feel like it's like September, October, November, and December are just totally my jam. I love doing crafts and activities and learning things with Layla Jane and soon Angie. So for this one, we're taking some feathers and we're gonna paint with feathers. And then I'm gonna show you guys how we're going to paint with a corn on the cock. So this should be fun. So Layla, what we're gonna do first is you wanna be able to hold the sides of the corn like this so you can roll it. So you're not gonna put any paint on the sides. You're gonna take your brush, brush some red on it, and then you can do some green and some yellow. So you, if you can find the corn that still has some of the stalk on it, that makes it easier to hold. I couldn't, so I'm just telling Layla, don't color the ends. Oh, good learning opportunity here. What does red and yellow make, Layla? Orange. I didn't have any orange, so we just made orange ourselves. Perfect, and then do you wanna put some green on it too? Can you roll your corn? And let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that, isn't that cool? So you don't wanna keep rolling it back and forth on the same part or else you just end up kind of with a gunky paint mess. You just do one little thing. Oh look, see you get all these cool little patterns. And then you can just keep applying paint and keep rolling it around until you've had enough. This turned out so cool. I'm really excited about this. And I was just thinking another fun no. thing that you could do no. is do no. like a can, no. I know here is get like a canvas and you know how you can do like duct tape and like make designs or maybe write their initials or their name in the duct tape and then do this pattern all over it and then rip the duct tape off when it's done. I bet that would look really cool stuff. So. Yeah, that's cool, yeah. Oh yeah, that's way better. All right, what's your favorite, painting with the corn or painting with the feathers? Feathers. You like the feathers better? I kind of like the corn on the cob. The feathers I feel like is more fun to use, but I think the effects of the corn were a little more fun. But they're both just fun and different. While I'm cleaning this up, I'll tell you the next one we're gonna do today is actually a learning one, and it's called Feed the Turkey. This morning, um, I took just like a a paper, a brown paper bag, and then I cut out some uh, construction paper to make the feathers, the eyes, the beak, and the uh, the red thing on the turkey. And then cut a hole in it, and I got some beans, and we're gonna play like a little learning game with numbers, number recognition, and counting. And I'm gonna get that all ready for Layla as soon as I get this mess cleaned up. All right, I gotta show you guys something funny. I went inside to grab Angie, because she was crying, and Layla wanted some corn, some of the corn on the cob that wasn't painted. And Layla, all, we always have like the corn holders at our house, but Grandma doesn't. We're at Grandma's house now. So this is what Grandma came up with. There we go. <laughs> hey, that works. Two forks stuck in the side. <laughs> yeah, well, as soon as you finish that, we'll do your next game. But you go ahead and eat your corn. Good job, Grandma. Oh, I like well. that. Here's our little turkey. What do we name our turkey? I love eating. I love eating? I love it. Oh, hang on, I have a question for Grandma. Grandma, what is, I can't remember, what is this thing called? The, is that the gobbler? That's what I called it, the gobbler. Okay, so Layla, we're gonna play a game here. You're gonna take a dice, we have a big dice. And can you just try to throw it straight up and land it on the table? Can you count how many is that? That means you're gonna feed the turkey six beans. He says, thank you. Do you think you can handle something a little harder? We're gonna do addition. Yes. Addition, that's when we add two or more numbers together. So first, can you roll your dice again? Okay, five. So can you take out five beans? So now I need you to take out six and make another pile of six. This is the part where we do the addition. You had five and you had six. Can you add these together? Count, so that means count all of them together and count how many there are. One, 
11. 11. So, Layla, five and six makes 11. Good job. Yep, feed the turkey. So, you can extend this activity too. You could even do subtraction. Maybe if they roll a six and a three, you could do six minus three. They rolled a three and a six. You could do three minus six if they're really good. And you can do negative numbers. This is just a fun thing that you can really extend and just have some fun with. Grandma found the name of the go gobbler gobbler thing. Uh, it's called a wattle. W-A-T-T-L-E. Oh. It hangs from the turkey. I never knew that. I just called it the gobbler. So it's a wattle. All right, it's the next day, and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do today. This next project is actually one you can get on my Teacher Pay Teacher store. You can find the description below. This is a really cute and fun way to have your child practice writing and spelling their name. So what it is, is I have a turkey you can print off that has no feathers. You cut the turkey out, and you cut the feathers out, and then you have your child write a letter uh, from their name on each feather, and then they have to put it in order and give the turkey its feathers. So I'm going to get Miss Layla Jane over here so we can start working on it. So on each feather on the top, I want you to write a letter that goes in your name. What does your name start with? What letter? L. L. Good job, baby. So you're going to write an L on this first one. Can you write it kind of up on the top there? L-A. Good. And then what comes next in your name? Why? Good. So can you find the Y? Good job. Now you have a Layla turkey and you gave him his feathers back. Well, Layla has already become very busy with grandma and she's making food for her toy little ponies. So I was gonna get us started on another activity, but this is actually probably good that she's busy with grandma right now because I can get everything prepped. So what we're making now are these yarn pumpkins. And you basically just need um, some white glue yarn. I'm using orange yarn. Um, a brown pipe cleaner, a green pipe cleaner, and um, a balloon, and that's it. So let's get started, and I'll show you kind of how I'm gonna prep for this. That's how big I blew up my balloon. You can do whatever size you want, depending on how big you want your pumpkin to be, but I don't want mine to be super big. Now I'm gonna take some orange yarn and cut it into strings probably maybe like 36 inches long, two feet to three feet long, and just get a bunch of those ready to go. Then I'm going to pour a bunch of white glue into a bowl, because that's what we're gonna dip the yarn in. Now that I got this all situated, and I have it hanging from here, which is gonna make it a lot easier to wrap the yarn around it. And I put some paper down, so just a piece of glue drips, it catches on here. Now I'm going to start dipping the yarn in the glue, and I'm going to, instead of like using my fingers to scrape off any extra glue, which will take most of it off, I'm just gonna run the, the string through a fork to wipe off any excess glue. I need to let it dry for 24 hours about. Hopefully it turns out. Um, Layla Jane kind of had her hands all over it and there are things just kind of going every which way, but I think it's going to be okay. It'll be salvage. Moving on to our next activity. This one, you can make it as big or as small as you want, but I love the memory game and I thought it'd be fun to make it a learning game and also more Thanksgiving themed. So on just one sheet of paper, I wrote, cause we're working on upper and lowercase letters right now and kind of matching them. So the memory game is you have to match an uppercase with the lowercase letter. Again, you can make this bigger. You can use a bigger sheet of paper and do the whole alphabet. You could just do a few at a time that your child's working on. However you want to do it. You could even do sight words, number matching, whatever. I have some little fall leaf decorations, and but I also have a bunch of these little pumpkin decorations. So I think instead I'm going to cover each letter with the little pumpkins and she'll have to play memory. And every time she gets a match, she gets to keep the pumpkin. So what you're doing is you're going to lift up one pumpkin and then one other one and see if it's an upper and lowercase match. If it is, you get to keep the pumpkins. If it's not, you have to put the pumpkins back and start over. So go ahead and choose a pumpkin, any one you want. Good. It's a D, a lowercase D. So now lift another pumpkin up and see if you can find the uppercase D. And now choose another or choose another yeah, one. Right. Okay, so there's the lowercase D. See if you can find that uppercase one. Okay, so 
the next thing we're gonna do, Layla, and I'm hoping this will become a tradition in our house every Thanksgiving. Every day, starting from November 1st, leading up to Thanksgiving, we're gonna take a pumpkin and write what we're grateful for and what we're thankful for. And then this can be the centerpiece on our Thanksgiving dinner. So Layla, do you know what it means like if you're thankful or, gra or your gratitude, you're thankful for something? What does that mean? It means something that like you're so glad you have. Like, I am so glad I have you. I'm so glad I have grandma. I'm yeah. so glad that I have you. Okay, so why don't we start with grandma? And we're gonna write on here, grandma, because that's what your gratitude or you're thankful for. Do a G, remember how to do a G? Good, and then an M, M. What makes the M sound? Sorry, grandma, your G's a bit bad. Uh-oh, she did a bad G. It's <laughs> so Layla already just said she wants to put her friend Shiley on here, but we're gonna save that one for tomorrow and we're gonna do something every single day. You know, I'm gonna write something I'm grateful for too on here. Can I have the marker? I'm gonna write on here Layla and Angie. So we gotta put a lot of things on here so we can't do it too big. But I think this was such a cute idea and this will be definitely be a tradition we have. And what a great centerpiece it'll be then. So today, Layla, our first activity we're doing is another tradition that I'm hoping to start. And you know around like Halloween, you boo your neighbors, Christmas, you might do Secret Santa. Thanksgiving, we are going to start doing this thing called a Thanksgiving blessing mix. And it's actually a pretty popular thing. I've just never done it before. And so I went and created my own printable that we're going to use. And you can actually get this if you want to do one too on my teacher pay teacher store. So just go to the link in the description below. But it's really cute. So it's very um, common, like I said. I just haven't done it before, but there's certain things you put in it and then you put this around it and you give it to a friend. And it's called a Thanksgiving blessing mix. Okay, so we're gonna oh, use bag. just a regular sandwich bag. And we have clean hands, which is important. And I'm gonna have you put everything in here as I read what each one signifies. So the first thing we're going to do is candy corn. And candy corn represents the sacrifices of the first winter and the scarcity of the food for the pilgrims. Okay, Layla, the next one is M&Ms, yummy. And that represents the memories of those who came before us to guide us to a blessed future. So I have some M&Ms and how many should we put in? Um, I guess two. Ten, okay. Dried fruit next, which represents the harvest gifts from the land. So for dried fruit, we're gonna do raisins. Okay, you don't have to do the whole box of raisins. Pretzels represent arms folded and crossed in prayer and thanks. So here are our pretzels, represented arms folded in prayer and thanks. So how many should we do pretzels? You can eat one. How many should we do though? All right, do three and then you can eat the rest of whatever's out. Okay, this next one is good. It's seeds. And seeds are the promise of a future harvest. And for these, I chose something super yummy and I kind of broke into it already because I love these so much. They are the Trader Joe's pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. Layla, these things are so good. You love these too. All right, while she is finishing that, I'm gonna cut out. So each piece of paper comes with two. I only need one. All right, so I got this. So one is right side, one is upside down because when you fold it, then both will be like that. So we're gonna seal up our little blessing mix. Oh, I lost my helper. I'm gonna get like a staple or just some tape. So then I put this on here. One side says Happy Thanksgiving and the other side says the blessing mix. So just a cute, fun tradition we can start and we'll make a few more of these to just hand out to people just to brighten their day. So Layla is getting some snuggles with Angie. She just had a bath so she's all clean, right? She's gonna go down for a nap soon, so. Layla and I are gonna do our next project, which is my big Halloween packet that I've created for homeschooling. And again, this is another one of my Teacher Pay Teacher products, so again, check that link in the description. But I printed off a 30-page packet of just fun preschool Halloween worksheets and just fun activities. So I can't wait to test them out with her and see what she thinks of some of them. Now, I always include in my packets letter matches, because I know Layla loves those, and I also did a number match. Where's the top of the witch hat? Well, so Layla, do you remember how to do these? You have to match the first letter of that word with whatever letter it starts with. So what is that? Well, it's a hat, right? 
What does hat start with? Ha, ha. Good job. Can you draw a line there? Oh, you can count, but we're gonna practice writing our numbers. So how many pumpkin pies are there? Six. So you have to write the number six there. Lots of different activities you can do with this one. You can set them all out and like put a song on and when the song stops, you can say freeze on the number five and they have to go and find the number five and step on there. Or you could have them have like a little bean bag or even candy corn and they have to go put the number of candy corn on each one. Like of the one, they put one candy corn, a five, they put five. Or you could tell them to throw the bean bag onto the number eight. So many different options you can do with this. But today I might just see if she can I put them in order. Good job. You did one all the way to 10. Good job. All right, it looks like this is dry. So you have to go in and kind of punch down the balloon so it's not stuck to the yarn. So otherwise when you pop the balloon, it'll just suck the yarn in with it. And this one. All right, Layla actually wants to pop it. So we're being very careful with the knife here. I love the So now we gotta get, pull the balloon out. All right, so we gotta take the balloon out. Okay, Layla, now we need to add the stem, which is gonna be our brown pipe cleaner, and then like a little leaf with our green one. So let's see, where's, this will be our top. That's kind of where I was hanging it from. So we're not gonna need all this pipe cleaner, but I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around. <laughs> turned out super cute. So cute, it'd be fun to make a bunch in all different sizes and maybe different colors too. They could use this little decoration. Another activity we're gonna be doing a little bit later is gonna be super fun. It's actually kind of like a game and something that I think would be hilarious to do like on Thanksgiving day, especially if you have like a lot of family or friends over and it's called Shake Your Feather. And it involves a tissue box, pantyhose, or something kind of stretchy that you can use to tie this around your waist and some feathers. So we're getting ready to go somewhere, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready so when we wanna play it, it's ready to go. So I just cut some tights, these are just little girl tights um, that Layla's outgrown and cut one of the legs. So this is gonna be like a belt. Next, you have to empty out the tissues. You don't need to throw the tissues away, just put them in a Ziploc bag or something to save for future use. And then what I do is I cut like two little holes on the bottom of the tissue box that I can like weave the pantyhose through. Because you'll see later on, we're gonna use that to tie around each other. And then you're gonna fill the tissue box with feathers and then we're ready to go as soon as we're all ready to play the game. Mommy, we're gonna play a game. So we're going to dance around. How about we put Halloween music on? Since we just had Halloween, we're kind of still obsessed with it, obviously with the costume. And we're going to shake these tissue boxes on us and try to get the feathers out. See how Mommy's has feathers in it? And we're gonna see who can shake the feathers out the fastest. Is it coming out? My, oh, look at Mommy! Ah! Ah! That was so fun. And kind of a workout too, but Totally would be fun if you had like a big group of people too doing it. And one thing I'd recommend is when we first put them on, they kind of rode up high on our backs and it was hard to get the feathers out. So pull them down and then it's a lot easier for the feathers to come out. So especially with little kids, you want them to be a little bit lower on you. I'm now moving on to another activity. This one is just hand painting. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Do you want your face painted? I hope you all enjoyed these activities and do some of them. Let me know in the comments below if you try any of them. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving too, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.